ways to counter that, which is the challenge here. You and I can say, hey, it's the Big Apple, but our target demo is shopping it against Albuquerque or Mineola, like it's apples to apples, pun intended. And in that comparison, the NYPD is coming up short. I would disagree. Let me walk you through the call to duty. It's the same call our armed forces recruiters have been implementing with so much success these past 10 years to fight the war on terrorism. Kevin, could we pause for a moment? What's the first image that pops into people's heads when we talk about the modern call to duty? Stop right there. What? If I am about to see images of the Twin Towers coming down, turn that thing off. Listen, I appreciate your concern. It's more than a concern. The event itself and the continuing threat are your biggest asset. Are you finished? Good morning, sir. Britt, you surprised me. It's never wise to let your guard down in the presence of bears, sir. Magical creatures, aren't they? Gentle like a newborn lamb, yet strong enough to tear the seats out of a Volkswagen. I've been staring at this video for 45 minutes. They haven't even moved, yet I am completely hypnotized. Imagine if Morgan Freeman were narrating. Imagine. Hmm. So do I get to find out why I'm here on a Saturday, or is that still a big secret? On the left is Mei Ling, and to her right is Mao Mao. Despite their best efforts, the zoo has been unable to get Mei Ling and Mao Mao to make love. Their only choice is artificial insemination, which is less than ideal since it results in sexual isolation. I totally get that. I'll bet you do. No, I, I mean, I mean, science behind that. I see problem after problem in our world, and I know that humans have the capacity to solve them. But it seems that at every chance we get, we fail to live up to our potential. We can put a person on the moon, but we haven't figured out anything better than tennis balls on walkers. <laughs> Live from the Western Hemisphere, you're back in the Sports Dome Hemisphere. Put two of them together, you've got a sphere. Shrink it down and color it orange, you've got a basketball. We've got some basketball news right now. Right, and I'd say this calls for a little celebration. I brought in a bunch of fireworks, so I'm going to light them off. I am pretty sure the network said you should not do that. Do you remember that conversation? Yeah, they said, do you really think that's a good idea? I do. Yeah, well, that means no. No means no, Shep. You got that right, buddy. Shep, how's your pops? Oh, uh, you know, he's doing good. He's all right. Hey, maybe next time we will get your dad on. That's a no can do. Buried both my parents this weekend. Oh, my God. What happened? Car crash. Old people shouldn't be driving. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I wasn't in the car. Hey, I'll tell you what isn't dead, burned, and buried. This dome. Please tell me you're a teacher here. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. I represent Doug Hartsock. You passed on being the next head coach of one of the best prep football programs in the Northeast to become a line coach at a Class C school. Can I ask why? Wanted to teach history? Then let me do that here. Coach, you took an interest in Doug's health. You emailed his tutor to see how he was doing. You wanted to know if he was having trouble remembering his schoolwork after the chasing game. I know where you're going with this. You want me to testify against my former colleagues? No. I want the truth. What's said in the locker room stays in the locker room. It would have helped things if Doug would have said something. No. He's still a kid. I'm not saying anything that'll ruin coaches' careers. Wait. I can't come forward. I'm sorry I can't be the one, but... If someone else overheard my argument with Coach Long after practice, then uh, I'll corroborate what they said. You mean, like, the players? The players were gone. But none of the coaches will testify said it was a coach. You raised, sir. Whoa. 25K. Cash. Because that is the only way I deal. Also, if you could deposit these checks down at the bank, that'd be great. So cash is not the only way you deal. Oh, one more thing. This is very important. In an hour, I want you to meet me at Dave and Buster's in Midtown. It's half off pitchers and all you can ski. Do you ski? Ski ball? Okay, so obviously you don't. Was that right? Yes, but you weren't sure. I can try. Well, the only bugaboo is if Troy is working today, then we can't go in, because technically I'm not allowed back there. Okay. Excellent. Then I shall see you on the side. That is flipped. Shit. Fuck. I can't skate backwards. I have been prancing all summer in my stepdad's driveway. Thought this trick was ready to show the world. Oh, that was wrong. Need a hand, sir? No, I've got it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm up. I'm up. See? Yeah. All right. I'll try it again. Don't watch me. Don't watch me. The figure of 10,000 is not arbitrary. It is what I am owed. Starting with a pair of spurs lost at the capture of Fort Ticonderoga, May the 10th, 1775. Well, um, I'm sure His Majesty will give you another pair. It's the principle of it. It is the respect that I am owed. 
about to find you more appreciative, as I am about to hand you America. And what line item do I find that under? I have given everything I have to this country. And what did I get back in return? A thank you? No. A trial for misconduct. Congress refusing my back pay. And just when they have stolen everything they physically could, they took the one thing I hold most dear. My honor. My good name. Sir, every item in that ledger was taken by this Congress. And seeing as His Majesty cannot repurchase lost honor, by God, I will have my spurs. If you do this, I promise no one will ever forget the name Benedict Arnold. I got distinguished hair and a private jet that flies me way up in the air. Buy and sell your company with so much savoir faire. I bought a mansion for each one of my two dozen heirs. Straight up millionaire. Mitt Romney style. Oh.